थैंक यू वेरी मच सर फॉर द आइडिया सर नाउ आई वुड लाइक टू टर्न टू मिस्टर आर के त्यागी जी सी एम डी पावर ग्रिड सर इट्स ऑफ एन मैंशन त्यागी जी दैट देर इज नो ट्रांजिशन विदाउट ट्रांसमिशन सो वॉट डू यू थिंक आर पावर ग्रिड्स प्लान फॉर क्रिएटिंग ए रोबस्ट इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर एस्पेशली विद द एम्बिशियस टारगेट्स ऑनरेबल चीफ मिनिस्टर एज मैंशन एंड यू ऑल्सो मैंशन अबाउट ग्रीन ट्रांसमिशन हाईवेज that can be used for dedicated uh, evacuation of renewable energy so i would like to hear some thoughts from you briefly on on the same thank you honorable chief minister has uh, given a very uh, broad picture of green energy revolution especially for solar stall capacity of about 78 0.5 gigawatt wind energy 35 gigawatt and pump storage about 22 gigawatt so without transmission system this vision cannot be complete or it cannot be fulfilled worldwide there is a discussion that energy transition means transmission has to be there if no transmission no energy transition power grid is a largest transmission company one of the largest transmission company company in the world we have 279 substations in almost all parts of the country about 178000 circuit kilometer and it is integrated grid where power can be generated anywhere in the country and ca can be transmitted to any other part of the country if andhra pradesh is thinking of green energy revolution so transmission system has to be strengthened it has to be upgraded to 765 kv level 800 kv hvdc narrow base transmission line towers especially in urban city urban area where monopole or bipoles where the row or land requirement is minimum sir we already have huge network in andhra pradesh but more transmission network will be required government of india has already planned for about 51 gigawatt solar power in andhra pradesh and mainly kurnool anantpuram kadappa these are the areas where potentials have been identified and as per your vision more areas like 78 gigawatt that means there there are some potential areas and green hydrogen hubs are in kakinada vaisak and ramai patnam so we have to connect these solar potential or ari potential area with green hydrogen hubs load centers with highly highly technical solutions with reactive power management dynamic compensation and for intermittency of renewable we have to take state of the art technologies and i am sure that with participation or collaboration of power grid vision of honorable cm will be fulfilled and we are fully committed for andhra pradesh sir thank you thank you Thank you very much, Mr. Tagi, for outlining your plans for Andhra Pradesh. Uh, I would now uh, like to shift the discussion to uh, the large-scale projects, and we have with us Mr. Suman Kumar from uh, Everen. Uh, Mr. Kumar, Everen has committed a significant investments for developing ARI projects in Andhra Pradesh. So, what, according to you, makes AP the hot spot for attracting investments in the country? One minute, sir. Thank you. you are uh, prepared for going uh, giant ventures also your uh, policy 
permits yeah. now? Yes, sir. We are uh, ready. Like we already have joint venture with Bihar and Rajasthan. Not only governments, mm -hmm. even private people. Uh, normally, we have joint venture with the uh, uh, state of uh, a particular state like Rajasthan or Andhra. And but private, uh, we we have to uh, take approval from government of India. No, everything PPP model, public-private participation. Uh, that is where roads. Uh, you know, uh, I fought uh, roads in the late nineties. At that time, nobody agreed. Even departments won't agree. You may not agree. I know. <laughs> Don't mistake me. <laughs> Always, they are at that time they opposed. Then we fought. That is how public-private partnership has come. First road, Nellore to Chennai, first bid by Malaysian company. Then golden quadrilateral roads. Then all roads have come. Now they are having surplus funds. You are, you are also very rich. You are having more funds, I know, power grid corporation. But yeah, need of the future is very huge. Yeah. Why can't you prepare even government of India to create a policy? We'll talk to them. Public-private partnerships. Then huge opportunities. Governments will work it out. Even private also will bring more accountability will come. We'll think. Thank you very yeah. much. So basically, Subbu asked me why you are investing so heavily in Andhra in renewable energy sector. So before I give a long answer to him, I have a short answer. Today, entire day, Honorable CM is the only presentation which is so comprehensive. Each and everything is crystal clear, all the policies, all technology.